Hello again from the small city of Darwin in the Northern Territory of Australia. I took these photos at different times over the years at the Shell Truck City Roadhouse and Truck Park on the uh, outskirts of the city of Darwin. The photos um, are of road trains. The Australian road train are the longest trucks in the world. They have three or more trailers and are about 53 metres long. That's about 174 feet and they haul around 115 metric tonnes which is about 253,000 pounds. Just the two trailer road train is about 35 metres long and hauls around 100, uh, sorry, around 80 metric tonnes, which is about 176,000 pounds. The reason we developed these long road trains in Australia is Australia is a very large country. It's about the size of the United States of America but there's only just over 20 million people live in the whole country. Most of the people live on the eastern side of Australia down down the coastline and the south eastern corner. So the people who live in the west and in the north have to have all their freight carted by these road trains through the centre of Australia, the outback it's called, which is very hot dry countryside, not not very good farmland, there's no farms, they just run uh, big cattle stations, we call them, uh, uh, you'd probably call them cattle ranches. These uh, cattle ranches are hundreds of square miles each. So the people who live in Perth on the west coast of Australia, they're about 4,000 kilometres away from most of the people living on the eastern side of Australia. So all the freight has to go by road train. And the people who live in the north like the city of Darwin, they're about 3,300 kilometres away from most of the people on the east coast. Uh, the photos aren't very good quality, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm not a very good uh, cameraman. I was only using a cheap disposable camera, which I used to keep in the cab of the truck all the time. Uh, the two most common makes of uh, road trains, prime movers or tractors, are Kenworths and Max. Both Kenworth and Max are assembled in Australia to our own road train specifications, using mainly US parts but they do use some Australian parts when they uh, put them together. Uh, there are other manufacturers used as well, but they've all got to be made to road train specifications. Uh, I haven't got time to go into the uh, all the details, but they have a lot more air tanks for all the trailers we, we tow and uh, all the trucks, of course, have very large uh, fuel tanks because once you leave the eastern states, fuel becomes very expensive. So most of these big road trains carry enough fuel to go to their destination and all the way back again. Yeah. As you can see, uh, these are just uh, mainly three trailer road trains I've taken here. So I took them at different times at the uh, 
Shell Roadhouse. That's just one of our typical prime movers. Anyway, I hope you uh, find these photos interesting, and I'll say goodbye.